after two fatal bus crashes for the first time na the national Transportation Safety Board is recommending all new school buses come with seat belts. Allie Hines found out how many districts in our region actually have seat belts now and which ones plan to get them in the future. Sydney, this year the federal government is recommending lap and shoulder belts on all new school buses across the country. Currently, only eight states require seat belts for students on buses. Virginia and Tennessee do not require them by law. Kingsport City Schools is the only school system in our region that has seat belts on every bus. The transportation supervisor there says it also helps with behavior on the bus. With the students fastened in their seat belts, they're not up over the seat, they're not out of their seat, they're staying put. That creates a lot safer environment also. Tommy Starnes with Kingsport City Schools says it costs about eight to ten thousand dollars extra to order a new bus equipped with seat belts. We reached out to districts across the Tri Cities region, and here's what we found: since the 90s, Kingsport has had seat belts on every school bus. Most of Elizabethan City Schools buses have seat belts, and as the district replaces buses, old buses, it orders new buses equipped with seat belts. This year, Johnson County and Greenville City Schools tell me that they both applied for a grant in hopes of give it, getting at least one new bus equipped with seat belts. And guys, all sis school systems are required to have seat belts on those smaller buses. And so the, all of the ones I checked with do. So if you didn't see your, your district on that list, that's probably the case. They have them on the smaller buses, but not on the larger buses. And you think about, you mentioned the cost between eight mm -hmm. to $10,000, but that's per bus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. So right. that would be quite the cost when it comes to trying to replace every school bus in every district. Yeah, and these districts have dozens of buses in their fleet. So really, if a law came down that was just a, a, across the board, you have to have them, it would cost hundreds of thousands of dollars and really more than most school districts could yeah. afford right now. Yeah.